Sendai, thank you so much for being so patient while I got settled in here. I feel like it's been forever since I've talked to you guys. Before I moved here, I was a little worried <laughs> that I wouldn't like Sendai as much as Morioka because I absolutely love Morioka City. It's so gorgeous, the people are really nice. I had nothing bad to say about it. So it did feel a little risky to try a brand new city that I didn't know too much about, but I love it here and I can even say that there are lots of things that I find even more convenient and exciting than living in Morioka. So I think I definitely made the right choice. I'm feeling really good about it. I'm going to be doing a video on the entire moving process because this was the first time in my entire 16 or however many years in Japan that I hired a Japanese moving company and it was an experience. It was so eye-opening um, to how different they do it here in Japan than like back in the West. So keep an eye out for that video. One of my absolute favorite things about living in Japan all these years has always been how much effort they put into making like basic everyday items really fun and cute. That's something that we don't really do back in Canada. So it's been really fun for me to see all the cute products that Japan has. And I wanted to share with you guys today 19 fun things that I bought for my new apartment here in Japan. Hope you enjoy. I am most excited about these two. I cannot wait to open these and try them out. These are antibacterial hand soaps in a little pump form, but they come out in cute little shapes. This one comes out in a little paw print and this one is supposed to be a pink sakura shape. So this soap was made by Biore. You guys might know the brand. They're quite popular here in Japan as well. I'm so glad I got my hands on this sakura version. Not only did the sakura shape come out perfectly, the scent is so nice. It's a little fruity and sweet. While I was looking for that sakura soap, I also came across this paw print version and I had to try out this one as well. The package is adorable. Again, the shape came out really nicely. The scent of this one is just like a fresh soap scent. Don't know how to explain it, but it smells really nice. These are chair socks. These are a very important investment if you are renting an apartment in Japan because I learned the hard way that depending on your real estate agent, when you move out, they could charge you a lot of money for the little scratches on the floor that your dining room or living room chairs might make. <laughs> My landlord decided to do that. So this time I have purchased lots of chair socks and I will be protecting my floors by putting these on my chairs. I think my favorite part is that the backs have little tails. How cute is that? Shout out to my friend Ushka for discovering this amazing invention. This is a storage bag to store your unused like duvets and blankets. Right now it's super hot and summery in Japan so I need something to store my winter blankets. This is such a cute way to do it. It's a giant cat sausage even though it's gonna go in my closet and not too many people are gonna see it. <laughs> it's still really nice to know that it's gonna be in a cute little cat storage bag so Let's do that now. I'm so sick of having these blankets sitting in my living room. on the sofa with a snack. <laughs> he refused otherwise. Maro has been so good throughout the whole moving process. He was a little scared of the movers at first, but I was with them for like five days. By the end of it, he was used to them. He even rubbed up against one of their legs at one point. <laughs> he was great and he didn't take any time at all to settle into the new apartment. He 
loves the window seats, which I knew he was going to, but I wanted to get him a little treat as well for being such a good boy. So I got him a brand new cat tower, but I was really excited to come across this brand that does really fun cat towers. They have like rocket shapes and castle shapes, and I think there's a cactus. It was really hard to choose one, but I went with the castle, so let's put it together, and I hope Maro likes it. It's not as big as his other tower, but because he's got all the window seating in the house, I feel like he doesn't really need a super tall tower to see out the window anymore. This is what we are aiming for. Isn't it cute? Love this part. It's so adorable. Normally when you put together furniture, all the screws and everything are just in one big bag and it's quite a mess, but they've laid it out really nicely. This is so cute. I like how small it is. A lot smaller than your typical cat tower, but like in a good way, it's very compact. I feel like it's a lot more stylish <laughs> than the typical fluffy cat tower that you see. So I really like it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. This is my favorite part. You can open up the roof here and there's storage for toys or snacks or whatever. It has a little scratch pad here for him. I feel like he'll really like that. It's really tough and feels nice to scratch. Maro doesn't usually play with these. Luna loves these, but Maro doesn't really play with them much. We'll see if he likes these ones. You never know. Inside it's got these really soft fluffy cushions. Now to find him and see what he thinks. Maro, are you hiding? I got you a present. You want to come see your present? Hello. Success. Can you go in? Try your new tower? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't do that. <laughs> Sweet boy. Well, I think it's safe to say he likes it. <laughs> he looks pretty cozy in there. You having fun? You like your tower? <laughs> I absolutely despise doing the dishes. It's the one chore that I really, really don't like, but these sponges make it a lot more enjoyable. Look at them. Who wouldn't want to wash their dishes with a cute cat sponge? These two I actually got for free when I ordered some cat food. And this last one looks so much like Luna. I had to get this. I think I got this one at Can Do. It was another one of the dollar stores that wasn't Daiso. <laughs> when I moved, I decided to throw away my fridge. Not throw away, but like give to the secondhand store. I do a lot of cooking at home, so I figured I deserve a larger fridge to be able to store more fresh ingredients and it has a bigger freezer as well, which is really handy. So anyways, I bought these Animal Crossing magnets. Don't know which one you're gonna get. They're like a little blind bag to use on my fridge to display some photos and stuff. I've got some already that I opened up. Um, I'm hoping that one of these is Tom Nook because I don't have him yet. So cross your fingers for me. It's Judy. 
So cute. <laughs> I'm actually really glad I got this one. I kind of like it more than Tom Nook. I have been meaning to organize the cables around my desk area for ages. And when I saw these cat cable holders at Daiso, I knew I had to pick them up. And they have little stickers on the bottom so you can just stick them onto your desk. But these should be really good for attaching my iPhone charger to my desk so that it doesn't fall onto the floor all the time and it's really easy to find. If you are a cat fan, um, or a dog fan for that matter, there's lots of really cute products here. These are little adhesive hooks for holding your keys or something small. It says that they hold up to 400 grams and 800 grams, so you can't really hang anything too heavy from it. I'll probably just stick them on a shelf and hang some of my storage keys or something on there. If I had to choose one of these 100 yen cat products that has been the most useful up until now, it would probably be these cable ties. I've got lots of electronics in my house and these are such a cute way to clean up your cables and just make your house look a little tidier. I can't believe these are only a dollar, honestly. These just make me so happy. One of my very first videos on YouTube 10 years ago now? Wow, that's weird to say. Was about Japanese toilet paper because they do a really great job at coming out with cute and scented toilet papers here in Japan. This is a Hello Kitty one for the summer. It's got cute little summer beach Hello Kitty print on it and it smells like sweets, candies apparently. Every season they'll come up with new toilet paper. In the spring there's really pretty cherry blossom ones that are pink and smell like cherry blossoms. My absolute favorite one comes out in the fall. It's a Halloween themed one that smells like candy but it's just the most addictive scent ever. Whenever they release it I buy like six packs of it and stock it up in my house in the closet. It's very similar to my favorite Halloween one but a little bit more like strawberries. I would say it's like a creamy strawberry candy scent. Toilet areas in Japan are usually very compact, so if you have a roll of scented toilet paper in your washroom, the whole room will smell like this. This is one of those things that you don't really need, but it'll probably make your life a little bit better if you get it, so I got it. This is a washi tape holder. I use a lot of washi tape for my stationary business. So it's nice to have it in a holder like this so it's ready to go and I can just rip it off really easily. There are so many fun designs of washi tape available in Japan. It's becoming more and more popular both here and overseas. If you've ever wondered how the heck you're supposed to use it, I use it for decorating letters a lot of the time, sealing the back of envelopes, just spicing up notes and letters and cards. It's a really easy way to put a personalized touch on something. Morrow's trying to sneak into the background of my video, so we'll give him the spotlight for a minute. Next we have some toothbrush covers. I like keeping my toothbrush covered because it just feels wrong to have it out in the open. It might collect bacteria or something. So these are a really cute way to protect your toothbrush. Uh, also, if you are traveling a lot like I do, it's nice to have this so that you can pop it on after brushing your teeth and you can just put your toothbrush straight into your bag and not worry about it being wet or anything, so. Good boy. You look like a manatee. <laughs> what is that pose? Aw, aren't you cute? Maro's clearly begging for comments, calling him cute, so indulge him. Comment below. You guys might have seen these before. I have purchased these before. I love them. I find them very handy for storing different types of pasta. These are reusable pasta bags. They're just so cute. They look like a little jar, so when you put your spaghetti or fettuccine in here, it just looks adorable and they're very sturdy so you can reuse them. I just find it a really easy way to store my pasta once I've opened the package and it keeps it very fresh because it's got like a Ziploc seal up top. Always good to have some bag clips around for keeping your chips or just anything fresh once you've opened it. I, I really like how they've put so much effort into explaining the personalities of each of these animals. 
This is Shido, the white cat, sibling of Kudo, the black cat. Very imaginative names here. Every time I make a cooking video, there's at least two or three comments <laughs> telling me how horribly dull my knife is. Trust me, I know. So I have finally purchased a knife sharpener and it's extra cute. It's a little tomato. As much as I hate tomatoes, this is adorable. Let's hope it works. My knife is extra dull right now, so it's a great time to test if this little thing actually works. This was just from Daiso, so it only cost 100 yen, about a buck. I was so excited to see this in the cleaning section at my local dollar store. I think it's so cool how they put Pokemon on products that aren't designed for children. Little stuff like this just really makes me happy. In Japan, they don't see character stuff as only for children. It just makes your day a little brighter. These little melamine cat sponges are a godsend for someone like me who drinks a lot of black tea. These are so good for getting out the stains on your porcelain cups. You don't need to use soap with them, you just add a little bit of water to it and it gets out your stains really easily. I swear Japan has like 50 different types of sponges, all for different purposes. These ones here are for polishing your tap or around the tap area, it can get quite dirty there. Again, the really small size makes these so easy to use and I really like how the back is adhesive so you can just kind of stick it to the tiling or whatever you have behind your sink and it'll be ready whenever you want to use it. And finally, probably the best new addition to my home is this Gengar plushie. I came across this advertisement, I think it was on Twitter. The pictures were just so ridiculous. I really like giant Pokemon plushies and I don't know, I just couldn't stop thinking about this one. I think it took me about a month or so to commit to it because it's very expensive, <laughs> like over the top expensive, but I tried to justify the price by saying I could use it as a yoga mat as well as a cat bed. So it's like two in one, plus it looks really cute in the background of my videos, but this is the price. 25,950 yen. That's roughly 250 American dollars. <laughs> Luckily, Maro has gotten lots of use out of it. He loves using it as a bed and it is super comfy just to lie down on it and relax. And I love how it looks. So overall, I would say it was worth the investment. It's a limited edition plushie. I don't believe it's available anymore. So I think that was part of the very high price. Let me know what you guys think. Was this worth $250? I have a feeling the opinion on that will be split. And that is it. That's my little haul of cute little things that I got for my house. I really want to take you guys to a furniture store actually because there's a really good one here in Sendai and I've had so much fun shopping there. And I think there are a couple more pieces I need for my house, so would you be interested in that? Should I bring you along when I go shopping for those? Let me know down below. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye for now.